Last year, we finished the year expecting to go into a new year um, completely normal. We thought we would have in-person tryouts. So realizing that it's like your last year on like doing anything is like really emotional for me. Like any kind of change is, has always been like hard for me, especially when it's something that I've like really, really enjoyed and really loved. When we first started this season and we were doing tryouts and started putting together the game day's routines, it didn't really feel real. Um, like when we first had that first practice at um, the dance studio in Drake it, like, and we were all together and we had our pool party, that's kind of when uh, reality started to kick in. Um, so obviously I wasn't expecting to do anything official. I obviously knew that I was gonna be like around a lot since um, Morgan was still gonna be on the team, but I wasn't expecting to do it in this capacity. And obviously I was extremely excited. I had a hard time like accepting the fact that I was gonna have to leave. So when I found out that I didn't have to leave um, and I was gonna be able to come back and finally do with this team what I wanted to do with my team. Um, so. I was excited to like kind of get that second chance. Coming into the team as a freshman, I was very nervous because I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know many people. Um, I really only knew Kaylee and Colleen, who I grew up dancing with. So other than that, it was like a fresh start. So that aspect I was excited about, but I also was nervous because I didn't really know anyone, didn't know how it was going to go. I knew it was going to be different than studio dance, so I was nervous for that little switch and how I would adapt and like adjust to it, but I think overall it's been like really well, it's met and surpassed all my expectations. Coming into the team as a freshman was obviously very nerve wracking, not knowing what to expect or what the girls were like and a group of girls can be a little scary, but soon enough like it was just, it was like instant family, it was so much fun and still is so much fun. Going into competition season this year was weird because we were coming back from like a COVID year and we didn't like know what to expect because everyone except for Bella hasn't been down to Daytona yet. So it was like a whole new beginning for everyone. We also knew we were actually going this year. So it was, that like was a whole exciting. Different it was exciting, but like stressful at the same time. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Because, like, obviously, we're juniors now, and we have just went to Daytona for the first time, which is sad. Sad. <laughs> so it was definitely hard because coming in, I was on the volleyball team, obviously, and I had, like, my group of friends. And coming in as a junior, everyone kind of had their groups of friends. Like, I wasn't, like, a freshman. And then having other freshman girls with me, um, people already kind of had their friend friendships and made, like, their like friend groups. So it was definitely hard, but I got to know them like so well off the beginning. And now I can literally say like, these girls are like my best friends, which is like crazy because I've only known them for like a year. <laughs> um, but it was definitely really exciting to get to meet new people. And I mean, there's like 40 girls on the game day with all of us, game day and the competition team. So it was like having 40, new friends coming in, in as a junior, which was super cool. And I was just super excited to meet everyone and have two years. And honestly, I wish I did this sooner, just so I had this experience for longer. I think it definitely made it better. And it also helped a lot because I was like, I'm a commuter. So it definitely helped with like making a lot of friends here and like getting introduced to a lot of people. So it definitely helped like just coming in and like being a part of a group already and not just having to like find my own friends or anything. The summer practices don't really feel real until we came back for the first week before school started. And then we started practicing like almost every day and doing the scavenger hunt. And then I was like, oh, it's really happening again.
We go to camp in August and I didn't really know what to expect because we haven't gone to away camp since I was a junior. Uh, and they worked really hard and they got a silver bid for the first time in Merrimack College history. And the energy was just so good at camp with everyone. And yeah, that was probably when I realized that this could be the best season we've ever had. Camp was one of the craziest <laughs> things ever. Never expected it to be like that. Everyone, like Len said that it would be super hard, but. It, I didn't expect it to be like be, that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I could feel my body after day one. No. Um, and it felt like we were there forever. Very long time. But it was just. A short. Wasn't even full three days. It wasn't even. It was like two, <laughs> two if that. <laughs> we only had one real full day. Yeah. But um, we worked hard till the lights came off. Turned off. In the rain. <laughs> In the rain. <laughs> uh, then the love story of all of this was me and Kelly. It was definitely hard, but I had never met Mindy before. Yeah. Next thing I knew, I was sharing a hotel room with her. Apparently, someone warned her. Yeah, some I don't remember who it was, but was someone on the team. Time and they warned me. They were like, "Mindy might be mean to you, but it's not because she doesn't like you." And I was like, "Okay," like so scared. And then we went and Wait, we. Were like, <laughs> I didn't know it was that. And then we ended up becoming BFFs. We got to be roommates in Daytona too. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. It was just full circle moments, you know. Um. So. Yeah. Yeah. We did a send off for the Merrimack College community and our parents and friends to come watch um, our Nationals dance for the first time. We performed it live. We were excited to invite all the teams, but as it got closer, we were a little nervous that um, we didn't know how many people were going to show up. And when we all walked out, like we were wicked surprised by the fact that there were so many people there from Merrimack sports teams to um, administration to all of our parents and friends. And being able to perform in front of our friends and family is the most important part of the season to me, besides for um, going to nationals. And having that support really made me more confident in my dancing as like an individual, but also on the team. And it just made our dance a, like a lot more personal and emotional because we all felt that point of dancing in front of um, a live audience. So it was really nerve wracking and um, I was really nervous. I thought I was gonna throw up, but um, it ended up working out really well and I think it prepared us for Daytona.
that this team was something special during spring break because how many 20-something-year-old girls want to stay inside during spring break when everyone else has gone and like gone to the beach or like doing stuff or just at home relaxing and we're having double sessions eating gross food and um <laughs> and you know like literally like killing our bodies like not many and I'm going to say at least 99.8% of the time everyone did it with a smile on their face and everyone knew like why we were here and like we wanted it so like that's and like now we know that it was so worth it to have those. <laughs> We got home from practice around a little bit after 10. Um, I was checking some last minute things in my suitcase and my backpack, making sure I had everything. I didn't start packing until literally like midnight. I realized I had an assignment due at midnight, so I had to do that and I didn't start packing till 12 and then I finished at 1.05 and I started almost crying because I couldn't bring my comfy. So I was really sad about that and I was standing on the weight like weighing my comfy to see if I could bring it, but I was already at 50 pounds, so like I couldn't. So we had a slumber party in our room. We had Bella and Bonnie with us. So like we have to get up really early and like Colleen is just not a morning person. So I was very nervous and everyone said that it would be my responsibility to wake her up in the morning. So waking up at 2.30 didn't happen for me. I did get a call from Bella at 2.55 and I was still in my bed and I didn't tell her that and I just pretended like I was walking but I wasn't walking and I had to quickly get myself together. And so then I went to bed and I woke up at 2.15 a.m. and um, me and Morgan were a little crazy because we got Ignite the night before, like the day before for the morning of. Walking down to the hockey rink at 2 in the morning with all of our big suitcases was definitely a sight to see. So we had our Ignite and we had to walk across 114. There was like a bunch of us and it was silly us with our suitcases. 
She's like, Aline's gonna call MCPD, and I was like, nope, I'm on my way. And then I had to like take my PJs off and like get ready, and it, by the time I got here, it was like, what, 3.10, and everyone was sitting in a circle, and I'm not much of a morning person, so seeing everyone look at me at 3.10, me knowing I'm late, I just wasn't very happy. Someone did say good morning to me, and I'm pretty sure I looked at them and looked away, so I apologize, Callie. Um, it was just not something that I enjoyed doing, so yeah. The bus ride over to the hotel, it kind of really hit me all at once that like we were there and it kind of went from working really hard all season to get here to now having to work really hard to do what we want here. Look, it's Merrimack Cheer. I'll get, let me get them in the blob. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Poor Chris is going to get mad at me because he's going to have to edit this video.
this looks fine. Yep. So and then Emily, you're be I, Emily, you're behind Bonnie, right? Okay. So thinking about prelims, I knew that morning when we woke up that the adrenaline was through the roof and I just was trying to keep my calm, going into it confidently, knowing that we were well prepared. Good morning, today is show day.
Walking off stage, I knew we didn't do our best. I didn't feel it, and I know the people walking behind me off that stage didn't feel it. Watching our replay backstage, I thought we looked great, but I knew we all knew that we could have done better. Getting off the stage, I think all of our nerves were just like so built up that everyone was just crying and all the emotions were there, but we knew like we, we didn't do our best that we can do. Um, and then just the like pressure and waiting around and we didn't know like how did we do, what are the scores, like they didn't announce it and like Alina and Carly didn't know what was going on so everyone was just kind of like uh like what what's happening um, and just like the thought of like well if we don't make it to finals like we don't get to do it again was just kind of like really scary like we just it was very unknown. But most importantly we weren't disappointed and I think that's what really like made us feel a little bit better. Like we did very well, but we knew we could have done better. So waiting for that score and waiting for if we like knew we were gonna dance the next day, we didn't know it was gonna happen. For Valdosta State University, 89.60. For the University of Connecticut, 89.71. For Mary Mac College, 89.22. After prelims and finding out after that we were going to be able to dance again, I was really happy because I feel like I definitely I wanted to um, do better because I definitely let the nerves get to me a little bit and I was uh, after I got off the stage I was like oh I can I need to do this again like I know I can do better. I think that the biggest challenge that we had this year overall was the fact that this team was so new and none of them had been to Daytona. So I felt like the whole year I was telling them how that how they should feel and like how they were going to feel once they got to Daytona and like was kind of trying to ignore the fact that none of them had had done it before. Um, and I, I knew that they all wanted it. Like I knew that they like had worked so hard and that they were gonna go and that they, they wanted to win and that they wanted to do, to do good. Um, and then after prelims, when they finished in fourth going into finals, I think everybody, including Alina and I, were a little bit disappointed. I think everyone knew that they could have done better and that there was things that they did on the stage that they normally don't do. So, they whatever we we find out that they're in fourth and they tell us we want we want to practice all all night like let's go and we're like cool let's go get pizzas for dinner all we need you guys to do is go find a spot um, like outside somewhere to practice and just sit down to hold the spot and so we go we get pizzas and we're walking back and we're we we, we find them and they're standing up and they're all practicing by themselves without Elena or I um, and that was the moment for me that I was like wow. They really want this, and that was the moment where I was like, no matter what happens tomorrow, no matter what they do on stage, no matter what place they end up in, like, what we were trying to do this year has officially been accomplished. Like, we're all here, they're all here, they know what it feels like, they, they now want it just as much as we wanted it, and so that was like a, a really small and like, um, like small moment, but it was, it was really huge for me, and I think it kind of solidified why we were doing this and what we wanted to accomplish this year. It was the cutest thing ever. I mean, they all said to me like at uh, after prelims, they were like, so we're practicing all night, right? But I kind of expect, not that I expected them to like not want to, but I expected them to like be tired and you know, I think a lot of us took naps and stuff. Um, but we went to get dinner for everyone and when we came back, they were practicing by themselves and it was like really the most awesome thing to see because like it showed that they were actually really serious about moving up.
placed third, got our big trophy, cried, and then we marched ourselves to the beach. And then we took a lot of pictures. Someone who I'd like to thank for getting me to where I am today would be Coach Alina. Um, this is because just be like from my freshman year, um, she definitely like almost like took me under her wing and when I almost didn't try out for the competition team, she was like, no, like you're trying out. Um, obviously, I could have been a little obnoxious the past four years, um, but like she's definitely helped me out like through dance and like personal life things, which I totally appreciate that she's like more than um, like just like here to help us do good in dance. And she's also like really pushed me to become a better dancer. Um, I definitely wouldn't be doing like the skills that I'm doing now or um, like pushing myself to do more choreography stuff and like try out for big things that um, like are potential for like my career and stuff um, dance wise and regular um, life. <laughs> so thanks Lini Hearts. Miss you even though I'm gonna you know be super annoying next year. <laughs> Being on the team for three years, there's been like so many moments that, and so many stories, and so many people that have like definitely made such an impact and such like amazing memories that it's hard to pick just one. Um, like I'm a big game day girl. I love I love a good game day. <laughs> so. Um, like definitely some of those football games, like the senior night football game, that was that was awesome. Um, but I don't know, just like everything that we do, like we do it like together, and we have just like a, such a positive spirit that I think that when I look back in 20 years, what I'll remember from the Merrimack College dance team is like the feeling that you have when you put on like the warm up and you're ready to go, like that's what I will, what I'll remember is, you know, just like the feeling of being a college dancer, like being someone that your whole school can look to for spirit and just, yeah. And knowing that everyone on your team is like working hard and is like totally there for you. To the seniors, Bella and Taylor, um, I couldn't ask for better leaders, mentors, friends. Um, I'm really upset that you're not gonna be here next year. It's gonna be like so different. Um, I love you guys. I'll miss you, but like come back. I don't know, see you around. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> um, Taylor and Bella, you guys have literally been my bestie since I've been here. And I just want to say thank you and I can't wait to see what you guys do. And I love you guys. My dear seniors, um, Taylee, I didn't get as much time with you because, wait, I'm lying. Yes, I did. We had the same amount of time. Taylee didn't get the same amount of time. <laughs> Cut that out. That's not true. That was a fake joke. Um, Taylee, I love you, and I'm so glad that you ended up coming to Merrimack and being on the dance team. I couldn't imagine like these three years that I got to spend it with you without you being here. And to Bella, you're my best friend, my bing bong. Um, and yeah, I don't, I really don't know. Next year's gonna be weird. I'm not gonna have someone that's gonna push me down all the time when I'm trying to just stand there. Or come up to me and try to touch me with her feet or something like that, weird. 
and my stuffy's gonna miss stinky little pink, but I love you guys and I can't wait to see everything that you do and I can't wait for you to come back and visit because I know you're not gonna leave forever. Bella and Taylee, um, I've loved being co-captains with you this year. Um, I'm gonna miss you guys so much. You're two of my best friends and I'm so sad to see you guys go, but I know that you'll be back to watch us all the time and cheer us on and I know that I'll be seeing you not at Merrimack College because Bella thinks that we won't be friends after she graduates, but we will. <laughs> so, love you guys. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's like funny bone definitely gets turned on when Chris comes in with yeah. the camera. So, shout out O'Brien 309. Yeah. So, we had Don't fun. Don't put that in there. <laughs> but, okay, now you can talk about me because I know you want to. Oh my gosh. So, like, we have to get up really early. Ow! My hair got stuck. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I'm so scared. My hands hurt. I'd like to thank my mom. Um, I would like to thank. Can you go away when I say this? I don't want to like. I don't want you to be here. Can you go outside? <laughs> she just tried to slam the door at me. Should we do like the grow up? No, I need to. Okay. <laughs> this is my second time today being on camera. My favorite part of the dance. Alina! Alina! Carly! You wanna do it with me? No. Morgan, Morgan. Oh my god, the tears are flowing. <laughs> He's gonna kill us. He's gonna have to edit so much footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh I need your help. I'm gonna Chris ask the question and then you have to say me and I'm gonna be like. Class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Annabella. Annie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tea talk with the taste. Tay squared. As they say. Okay. <sighs> Let's talk about. <laughs> this is like a date. So, how did you meet? We met. I'm kidding. No. We met when. <laughs> she was like, is it. Oh! He was like, I like gone bad! Oh, God. You okay? <laughs> Make sure my pizzas aren't in. <laughs> you have pizzas? Yes, I don't want to talk about it. Shut up. Are you going to talk first or am I going to talk? I don't know what the question is. <laughs> can Chris repeat it for us? Chris, can you repeat the question? Are you recording me? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. You're stupid. Can you please repeat the question? Testing, one, two, three. <laughs> Can you hear me? Testing, one, two, three. He's recording us right now. He's been recording us the whole time. <laughs> Maybe, it bad, Maybe it was a bad idea that we're doing it together. <laughs> okay. okay. Then there's the pool peepaw, okay? And he's underrated. Be mostly because we encountered him two different times. <laughs> two different times. The first time, we're all just like. The first time we encountered him <laughs> yeah. is when Alina and Carly and Chris, so all of our caregivers, um, <laughs> had left us, deserted us, and we were on. Desert the me, desert me. Um, I can't give you. That's good. Cool. Speaking of finals at Daytona, I'm on stage. Things are going great. Like we're hitting it. Like quad. Right after, or no? Well, it was this part. It was next. So we're in the we're in the pyramid. Next time, I gag a little. <laughs> My mouth starts to get really dry. Palms are sweating, but I'm like, okay, we're almost done with the dance. <laughs> we get on. We have like a couple more parts. Like we hit the quad. Like great. Bella didn't hit the quad. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hit the quad. I'm still doing good. I, I just like gagged a little mouth really dry. I need water at this point. <laughs> we finish. Ending pose around the ground. I get a run off stage. I couldn't find a trash can out in the view of not other people. So I'm, I'm hurled over a trash can. <laughs> like in the corner in the odd. Like I'm like scared that everyone can see me. Like someone pulls me to the other side and there's just a big bin of Celsius drinks. I'm like, I, I'm not throwing up in this. I'm not ruining it for everyone. So I like have to run back to the other trash and I just like threw up a little, I just like a little, it's fine. I felt better after and it was, it was good. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Listen, Sakura, go up. I am talking, okay? Oh, no. Guys, go back out to your talk, please. Wait, I was running out here one time, we were in practice the other day. Does and this I have anything to do with it? No, it does. I was running. I was running to the bathroom and Chris started recording when I came to the bathroom. Not today. You're not feeling today? No. I'm not prepared. You're not ready for it? I haven't washed my hair in a really long time. <laughs> And I think I said like, oh my god, I have to pick my budgie or something really embarrassing. Oh no, it was, I was like. Was there no one no, sitting here? No, it was, it was a day that no one wanted to do it and I was like, I'm not going today. And he was like, why? And I was like, because I haven't washed my hair in a really long time. No, Chris wouldn't let me do it because I was wearing this sweatshirt. You're going to make a director's cut, right? Uh, he just went like this. He goes, Merrimack, bro. Ew. Can you see the microphone in it? Okay. Why would I do it? Oh my god. It looks really close to my head, that's why I'm asking. Hey, 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 hey.
<laughs> but Chris, I can't. Okay, but you gotta, you gotta get me when I, I can't see you. <laughs> six, eight, two, four, six, seven, eight. Watch your coming from the side. Ready? Right, what am I doing? No, you have to back up. I really okay, can't go back. So I start like <laughs> this. Okay. And then you, and then I move, and then you swoosh in. Like yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. You want me to do it again? But there's, but there's no sign. So I know. Do you want to go home for the sign? This was me dead ass the other day. We got home from practice, and I literally was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like what's it do? You know, this is what you think you can dance like old school Rama Lama dance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that hurts. I'm sorry. This is Carly the other day. Who is in there? Wait, no. Mike, you're 